Hello and welcome back. Now you have seen an introduction to Cisco Packet Tracer. It's a good time to actually go ahead and look at how we can request a website from a server and how does this uh, request go through the entire network and how is the response received back from the server. So we were talking about the communication being sent in fragments as we also saw in the analogy that the orders were being delivered in small packages. And whenever there is a huge request, say a very huge file to be sent by the server back to the laptop, which made the request, it is sent in small packets. So how, how do these uh, packets actually reach the destination and how the laptops actually take all these packets and uh, finally come up with the website that was requested. So let's go to Packet Tracer and see how this happens. So here we have a topology that has already been laid out. It's, uh, it's just an imaginary topology of say a campus network. This is the logical representation of the topology. So if you look at the physical one, here is a map. So this, this is a campus map. Here what we see is the internet service provider and the internet service provider is linked to the computer center, which is again linked to a hostel. We could go inside the computer center and look at certain devices that are available there. And similarly, if we go back to the hostel, we can see there is a, a network room for the hostel where the where certain devices are placed. There is a Wi-Fi uh, modem here and we have a laptop, a cell phone and a desktop which is connected directly to the wall socket. So these are certain scenarios that usually happen in a hostel. So when we look at it logically, so these are the laptops and the cell phone and the PC that we were talking about that this is the Wi-Fi router that, that we saw in the lobby of the hostel and similarly this entire network belongs to what the hostel network is and the hostel network is then connected to the campus network and the campus network has its own devices like this server. So what we'll try to do now is we'll try to request a website which is there on the institute website server from the hostel network. So let's open the laptop and let's go to the browser. So name of the website is insti.ac.in. Now, if we hit enter, we see this dummy website coming up, which has a campus map, a link to a campus map and IP address allocation of the Institute. When we click, click on campus map, we see this image opening. So right now what we saw is the laptop has sent the request and the server has responded but how do we see it step by step so what we can do is go back into the simulation mode and then try 